Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the final day of the 2023 Open at Austin, presented by Lone Star Disc. We're here at the Harvey Pinnock Disc Golf Course in Austin, Texas. I'm Holly Finley. And I'm Connor O'Reilly. Super excited to be here. Harvey Pinnock has been showing its teeth in different ways all weekend, and today we saw a wind shift. We have been used to that north wind. Today we saw it kind of more out of the east, and it was definitely flaring up more than the forecast showed, so I think it affected the scores a little bit out there. And you know everyone's looking to play aggressive score those birdies, race up the leaderboard, challenge for a win. Of course, this hard, I think, lends to everyone being in the mix, whether lead or chase. And here we see Katrina Allen, 968 rated, well known by the disc golf world, two-time world champion. Vanessa Van Dyken, maybe a little bit less known, but really solid player, just under 950 rated. I'm excited to see her play today. I don't have a ton of experience watching her. Next up, Jessica Weiss, Team Innova. Rounding out the card, we have Ella Hansen, new to the FPO division, just a couple of years on tour and incredibly impressive with her skill set and her charisma. <laughs> yeah, Ella's just great for the game and hole one, a tough par four with OB laid in either side of the fairway. Left side, you have this path, there's a rough to the right. You wanna land somewhere around here and you really gotta be particular with your angle so you don't cut out to the left if you're throwing that backhand. From there, you can play into this peninsula green and you really gotta be careful to land the disc pretty flat so you don't skip out of bounds coming in here. If you got a good forehand, you can kind of go same shot twice here. Yeah, some extra ground play too. A little extra 30 feet. Vanessa also going forehand. Is she a player that goes both ways a little bit or made the um, backhand? I'd say she's more of a scramble shot. Uh, you know, she has a great turnover shot, so she'd probably lean on that more so than a forehand if it really called for it. Yeah, this hole really, I mean, the backhand's there, but it takes a lot of trust, and it's a scary shot to start your round with, so this one's making a lot of people, people play forehand, even players who don't typically. The more I saw this low line, the more I started to like it. And Me kinda too. I kind of wish I tried it, because... Me too. Yeah, people are getting way down there, and if you throw the right stability, you're going to end up fading, and this... <gasps> Will it come back? Oh my gosh, what is happening? Well, Finds the out of bounds, I believe. That is unfortunate mm -hmm. ground play. Man, that just looked incredible. Ella taking that similar low line. She's gonna hit a little higher on the hill and doesn't give her the time to s spin down that little slope on the left. Yeah, this like we said. Vanessa's second shot, and this is a very brave shot. Turnover backhand, it's just gonna finish right towards the OB, but she trusted it and chose wow. the right disc. Yeah, just shy of that out of bounds and probably had her a little, little nervous, but one that she can take a sigh of relief, get up and down for that par. I mean, I just told you she was good at turnover, so. She proved I mean, it. I knew that already. <laughs> <laughs> Ella looking for some ground play, avoids that stake and puts it just behind the bullseye. I love a road skip. Oh yeah. It's always nice when the skip works out how you plan it. Katrina's in a great position, flexing that same driver, driver over, just kind of playing it soft. And, <gasps> wow, that one dug nicely as well. Wow, I love how she trusted to swing it so far towards the road. This is Weiss's third shot. She got way down there, so this approach is gonna be pretty easy even though 
Should take that out of bounds. Likely clean up a par here on a tough first. A hole you're not mad at par. Birdie's kind of a bonus. Vanessa's third shot puts her about six feet from the bucket. Katrina Allen for birdie. Wow, what a great start. Hansen for birdie. Yeah, we saw Ella play a really good round round one here with Ace Run Pro, and let's look for her to attack in the wind with that backhand forehand combo. Even though Jess went out of bounds, she made it so far down the fairway, she was still able to scramble for par. Yeah, she had an easy putter in, which if you can land a nice putter on this green, it's going to be very advantageous for trying to come in with the driver on the approach. And Vanessa Van Dyking capturing a par here on hole one. No bogeys, so I think the players are going to be pretty happy and looking to attack this second here. Hole two is a par four coming in at 690 feet. We do have this out of bounds. You can see the drone flying directly over it. There's also out of bounds on the right and these hazard golf greens. There's also an out of bounds green right here. Uh, your first drive, you can get it as long as you can and hopefully your second shot, is another 280, 300 foot shot. Swing it right if you're a right-hand backhand player, hyzer in towards the basket and get yourself a three, but it's surrounded by out of bounds. So I see a lot of up shots coming in too hot and sliding OB. Katrina Allen up first on hole two. The nice hyzer shot and she has landed safe in the fairway. And I know there's probably some of you at home that think that manufactured OB, as you call it, is a bad thing, but I think it's a great thing for the game. I think if you have distance, you should be able to gain that advantage by being decently accurate with it. And I think uh, all these open courses require a good amount of out-of-bounds to make them separate strokes the way they should. You shouldn't just be able to throw a long shot and be very inaccurate, but just not be punished, I think. I like to see the out-of-bounds, and while it is nice to have a course where the nature forces you to do what you need to, I think... Uh, these open courses, as we, as we found, are just better for spectating, and they're just a lot of times easier venues to run until we until we really get these courses carved out of the woods that are super thought out and thinking about top-level disc golf from start to finish. But it's got to be tasteful. Oh, and Weiss with another out-of-bounds. <clears throat> she started it off on a good angle. She really swung it wide right over that sandy hazard, but the finish was just too strong. This is Vanessa Van Dyken's second shot into the green. Is it going to stay safe? It does not. I mean, the discs just come in too hot here. It's better to throw something a little slower or swing it wider right and let it hyzer finish in. Jess is, is looking good, but the finish could be too strong. Yeah, this is one of the greens that's oh, not necessarily like on the very nice. lush golf course grass. So you mm -hmm. get a little more ground play. You got to account for that. Try to land maybe circle's edge right and skip it over like Holly said. Now I like this play. Safe and putting for birdie. Katrina Allen's second shot looking to do the same. Good line swinging in. Big skip. Gonna need it to sit down though. And Ooh, maybe it's in bounds just by a sliver. Oh, the unfortunate red flag. I'd say that's the most common error I see on this hole. The upshot going out of bounds. <clears throat> this is Vanessa Van Dyken putting for par. Yeah, hard to trust it out to the right, knowing that if you do hang out of bounds and stay over there, you got to take it way further back. Whereas if you go out of bounds left, you still have a chance for that long save. And Vanessa put a move on that one. Great looking, great looking attempt. Kindly thanking the spotter for their hard work. They don't like putting up the red flag, so don't get mad at them when you make them. 
Ella gives it a bid, but doesn't quite connect. Yeah, that's well said. Sometimes it's easy to lose your patience with a spotter, but got to remember, we're the ones that made the mistake. They're just telling us. Katrina Allen, four. Mm, not the par. Just shy with that nose down putt. Just going to have to bust out that any putt. Oh, no. Able to stretch far enough to just putt it flat, and that's a good one. And just like hole one, even though she went out of bounds, uh, she was still able to scramble for par. It's a good lesson to learn. Don't get demoralized in the first couple of holes just because your shots go OB. You know, par's still right there. You can really focus on the process at hand. The results will fall into place eventually, and it's easy to get caught up in current results, though, and try to overpress. Have a good game plan. Just execute it on every shot. Two bogeys, two pars. <laughs> Three shoots out of this double mandatory gap in the woods out into the open and we have on the left side here in this rough out of bounds area as long as you get the disc flat and low under that ceiling off the tee and over this mound right here you should be able to skip past these guardians and give yourself some kind of a look ideally you can push it to the left side and put back up the slope here if you hang it out right there can be some scary looks but we saw Missy bang a huge one yesterday so let's see how aggressive these players get on this tricky green. That's a little tight, but she probably has the distance to get past the corner. Does she ever? Yeah, wow. It, was, it felt scary, but like you said, she put enough speed on that thing. It wasn't able to fade. It had to keep pushing forward. Expecting some skip out of that thing. Nope. I see a lot of shots end in, uh, end up in that mud path right there. Yeah, if you collect on that mound, you're just, you're just gonna slide over and... Katrina Allen with a hyper cane off the tee. Pushes it through that last tree gap nicely and into circle one. She's gonna have one of the safer putting angles here. Vanessa trusting this one out to the right, turns around, probably because she knows that she did her job and going to have some kind of a long look. We'll see if that branch obstructs her putt, though. Yeah, low ceiling there. She would have really had to push that branch to even try to make it, and that slope will pull you to 28 quick if you don't catch metal, so smart layup there. As you see with Ella, even with a good putting angle, if you hit the cage here, you see that happen a lot. Ella for par from about 25. Mm, little left doesn't connect. I hate that. Such a good drive. Yeah, strong attempt on the second one, but definitely one of those holes that's going to just bleed a little bit out of her early, and hopefully she can shake it off. Ooh, nice birdie. Katrina kind of rode the wind there. Yeah, that nose up, nose down putt with that tailwind up the hill just kind of floated up in there. Yes, with the turbo tap in. Vanessa smartly took the par. I think that right side's kind of a no-go zone for me. 
unless you really feel like you need it, but on hole three, I don't know if it's really worth it. Situational for me. Is the putt working that day or is it not working that day? (laughs) Exactly. Let's check out hole four. I love this one. Par five, 888 feet. First shot straight over OB. Um, Try to avoid that out of bounds golf green. Second shot flying right around here. Hopefully you can land a little bit in this uh, little valley here up or this mound. Your third shot flying through the tunnel, hopefully landing up here inside the circle and getting yourself a birdie. Thank you to the course workers out there. The course looked great this weekend. Appreciate you guys and the local club doing all the work out there. Katrina pushing this one straight and going to need a lot of fortune. Mm. It didn't didn't have the hyzer finish we know that she wanted out of that. She's very well capable of driving over and past that green. It's just a bit of an error from Katrina. Vanessa going to need this one to hurry up as well, but... And we've seen this golf green doesn't give you a lot of action. Once the disc hits there, you're not getting a lot of big skips like I would expect from other golf greens. I don't know if it was dewy or if it's just wet and sandy. Mm. Ella with the power getting way past there. I mean, that is a primo shot. Yeah, it's a great spot. She's going to have some weird footing with that, the kind of rut that that little golf cart road creates, but... She's in such a good position to be able to get herself a look into that out of bounds window and Jess pulling a powerful shot right there. That was very well thrown. This is Katrina Allen throwing at three. This is a good angle here, looking for a little skip. And gonna be nice to be up on the top there, I think. It's nice to be up on the level footing and not have to throw up into the gap being level with it. Makes it a little easier in my mind. Ella Hansen with her second shot. Just looking to end up in a good spot so she can get down that tunnel, get a good look at it, not have to do some awkward shot shaping, hopefully. Yeah, she slowed her footwork up there, but really executed a solid shot on that one. She's probably got 250 or 60 in looking straight down the tunnel. Because the shot sort of shapes left, it instinctually makes you want to do a hyzer shot. But really, a straight shot is better here so you can end up with a longer distance and more towards the mouth of this tunnel rather than chopped off early on the corner. Trina Allen now trying to get inside that tunnel with a hyzer skip. Must have got caught up on some branches. She threw up the hands. Ooh, Lise with the trick shot. Another forehand roller. We saw her throw one of these round one here, I believe. And that's going to find the little path to the next hole. It's going to be tricky from over there. Yeah, it's kind of thick. I don't know if she'll be able to make it, but she should be able to put herself with a 20-footer at least if she executes that one. I like the position Ella had landed that shot in. She was able to do a nice little upshot through the tunnel. Trina moving some of the newly cut branches and getting that lie prepared. That looks like a great angle. Wow, she almost threw it in again. Katrina's looking dialed right now. Vanessa playing smart with the positioning and the pitch out. No need to get greedy and try to get closer to the basket. Yeah, there's a lot of spots coming into this tunnel where if if you're off and you try to do too much, you couldn't even throw it arm's length in front of you and hit a tree right there if you don't execute. So, mature of Vanessa. 
Here's see Jessica having to bust out the left hand forehand again, and she puts it in the bullseye. I forgot she had that in her repertoire, so. What am I saying? She can only get it 20 feet. Ella drives wow, it. Wow, sweet birdie. Such a nice, flat driven putt. Straight into the center of the chain. Shout out to Flight Factory. Go get your sweet plastic at Flight Factory and thank them for all the run backs we'll be seeing all year. Some sweet highlights so far. It is a requirement if you play out of order to ask your card mates if you can go in front of them. That is a PDGA rule. Playing out of order is a courtesy violation, so that's why Katrina asked for permission because she was not the furthest away from the target, in case you guys didn't know that. Yeah, it's also just a respect thing. A lot, a lot of times people tap out when they're slightly frustrated with themselves, but you don't want that frustration to leak over to the rest of the card. You're not trying to affect everybody else, so I think it's a sign of respect to ask for that permission. Ella Hansen with the only birdie. The fifth is a really good challenging par three, in my opinion, for the FPO division at 355 feet. You've got to clear at least 330 of it to get over this out of bounds golf green if you're going straight out the basket. There's a hazard bunker to the right that you want to avoid. And ideally you collect somewhere right here on the left where it kind of dips down and give yourself a close enough putt to attack this elevated basket. Forehand or backhand, you kind of pick your poison. What's your best shot here? Ella Hansen up first. Sidearm off the tee. We saw her play more of a safe play in previous days. Oh my gosh. And I think maybe that's what she was going for again. Do you think she was trying to lay it up or skip it yeah, off the yeah. golf green? I think she wanted to be another foot or two higher and get that big skip. She's been throwing some great forehands, so we rarely have seen her make a mistake. And Jessica again, amazing ground play. Once again, putting herself close here. We still have a putt for birdie from about 20 feet. Katrina Allen throwing that hyper cane again off the tee. Just got up a little bit on it at the end and not quite able to drive the nose down the way she wanted. That'll be a tester putt. We'll see if she's feeling aggressive on that elevated basket. Vanessa playing it safe over here to the right. Understands that this one is a big bonus get and it's not really in her comfort zone right now. So she wants to just take the easy three and take the stress off. This is a hazard. So that's why Ella is playing from inside the sand and not outside. She'll be laying it up. Taking a bogey here. That was a powerful little standstill putt. I can get, up, get herself up there. And this uh, chips that one up nicely. Man, what Taps a good tower. Yeah. upshot that is. Katrina kind of has a right to left, making this one tricky. She wanted to run it, you can tell, but she missed the angle it was going to lift and carry towards that out of bounds line. Ella, great save right there. Left Her. a little bit of meat on the bone. Yeah, she did, but that putt is looking solid today. Yeah, it comes I out like so how clean. It's spinny, but kind of slow. Yeah, she. I think she does a good job adjusting the pace based off the distance. We've seen her mm -hmm. kind of drive it home on the last one for mm -hmm. that for that uh, birdie, and then here she kind of knew that she didn't want to miss with too much pace, so gave it a little bit of touch into the elevated basket and. Yeah, it's nice to have a putt that you can keep on the same angle and switch your speeds up. Helps you deal with any conditions, any look. Jessica Weiss capturing a birdie here on hole five. And Van Dyken just played the safe par and she got it. Ooh, your favorite hole is coming up. Oh yeah. I know you're excited. I got my boat shoes on today. <laughs>
Hammett needs to get something going. And in Adam Hammett. Hole in one. Incredible. Welcome back, hole six, 316 feet, par three. It's a very unique, very tight hyzer hole. I haven't quite figured out how to get inside the circle for a birdie putt yet. A lot of the players are just trying to get to circle two, maybe give themselves a long putt, or just play it for par and move on to hole seven. Not a lot of danger here, other than just ending up early left and having to scramble for a par. Yeah, I think you can get overly aggressive coming into that green, trying to run a long one, and there's a lot of trees on the backside, so. He's taking a spike hyzer. <clears throat> She'll end up in about circle two and a half. Katrina Ooh. playing the inside line. I liked how tight she hugged that on the inside. Takes a lot of trust, but that's the best way to get over there unless the wind's really helping him. That was great. It's probably the best shot I've seen here yet. She threw it about as good as you can without catching the inside of the gap there. And Vanessa trying a similar play, hyzer flip with the understable disc. Cause oh, there is out of bounds, but she doesn't get quite far enough. I think it's just, uh, yeah, I believe it's just rough everywhere on this hole so natural out of bounds but i don't know if there's anything we can push to unless maybe there's a line way off to the right for i saw five, it today for hole five i guess yeah, or, yeah yeah but i don't think it extends back to the back wall there hansen ends up in a good spot but not really sure if that would be a putt i don't know she's been spinning them pretty good today vanessa putting a move on this forehand for a second, I thought I had a chance, but gonna have a nice bullseye putt to clean up par. Jessica pitching a Sonic up right there. Was that what that looked like a super touchy understable disc? Hansen for birdie. Ooh. Definitely bidding that one. Put some more height on it, Ella. I wanted that to go in. She knows she needs to keep the pedal down on the ground if she wants to. Make a push for that win. Katrina for birdie. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. that I wanted to see that so bad. I've been waiting all weekend to see more than just a throw in here. You can see she felt that she gave it a chance and was just waiting for it to drop, but not quite. I think that's three putts in a row we've seen hit the top band. So she's online just... Uh, you yeah, know, that's the difference the between headwind or two just down. aiming one little link too high or something. Exactly. I do need to backtrack and let you guys know that hole four actually played the hardest on the course today. So we had three days, three different hardest holes, played one stroke over. So taking that tap in time to kind of rewind for you guys and let you know my little nerdy course stats. Hole seven, it's a par three, 340 feet. The key features are this rough line on the right side, not really letting you throw a hyzer shot, making you go straight at it, or maybe put a little left to right move on it. If you have a big forehand, you can go try to get the skip here. A lot of bunkers that play hazard on that left side, if you push it, push it too straight, but uh, I think circle's edge short is a really good spot to be on this one and give yourself a good look. This one held a little longer than I expected and she gets to the edge of the circle. Gonna have a big piece of debris in her line. Maybe we'll see if it's detached and if she can move it. Katrina Allen throws her pipeline and she'll get up there for a long putt. Yeah, she's hanging out with Jessica on that big down tree there. Let's see if they team up to move it. Vanessa doesn't like it a little low out of the hand and the grass just a little bit grabby right there. If you get a bit further, it's really dry and it would have slid up pretty nice. 
Ella puts a move on this a little high. Let's see if she has the power to get into circle one. Yeah, just a bit nose up there, but not a bad place to be. Vanessa up first from about 70 feet. So does Vanessa, does she close her left eye as she lines up the putt? I yeah, think I see we're, that. Yeah, huh? we're, uh, it's like, yeah, line, you know, as if you're shooting a gun yeah. and you have the dominant eye. Oh, yeah, I've never never seen someone do that. I think that's very interesting. and That's a trick a that I've, I've been doing for years sometimes. If the putt goes off, you can, you know, you have that strong eye. Yeah, I, I usually aim left side chains when I'm inside the circle because of the way that the right eye dominance pulls you over just a touch. But I've never thought about trying to eye close. Maybe something to tinker with a little bit. Katrina Allen for birdie. Nice. Wow. Straddle putt with the tree. She's coming out firing today, and she's a few strokes off me and three down, or a few inches off me and three down. And Beautiful. See if she can continue to keep the fire going. Yeah, you can move unconnected branches, uh, loose stones, and debris. That's in your lie. You cannot move things hanging in front of you in your swinging path. Jessica Weiss for her birdie putt. Oh. Yes, back to back. Jessica and Katrina from the down tree, cash and putts. Jessica's putting been looking solid all weekend. Speaking of the uh, closing one eye, I actually have something on my YouTube called Pirate Eye Putting. And I made a little. Uh, I love it. Yeah, a little video on how to use that technique for aiming and, and lining up your putting. So check it out, Holly Finley YouTube. I'm going to try it out tomorrow. I got to give it a shot. All right. Two sweet birdies from Jess and Kat. Some good putts. Let's check out hole eight, 330 feet, par three. You have to make it out of this little area, probably the most important. This is a short hole. Uh, the wind can come into play. You won't really feel it on the tee because it's protected. However, the basket is out here more in the open. If you drive too far, uh, you can have sort of an obstructed putt. So it's better to come in a little soft, land short of the basket to get yourself that birdie too. Jessica Weiss up first. And that is looking good. It is going a little right. It looks like she'll have a putt at it. Yeah, you can either choose a little bit of highs of release on a disc that'll flip up or kind of hit flat, maybe a little turn on something that'll fight out here if you're throwing that right hand back in. Katrina looks like she's trying to drag it over and just comes out a little early, but she gets through. That is, yeah, she got, she has two rings, so extra fighting power there. Yeah, that's crucial. It just makes the scramble so much easier once you get out of that little area. Yeah, she would have had nothing but a standstill forehand, swinging her arm through some branches right there, probably, if she did not clear through. And Vanessa is off on a wide open side. Maybe give it a soft bid, but... Probably just okay with par after that drive. And Ella's looked like it was going to end up way too left, but she's inside the circle putting for birdie. Yeah, I felt like it was kind of pulling right on the ground almost the way it was sliding, and she just kept getting it to flip up. Beautiful upshot. She'll have a drop in par. Vanessa just outside circle two. Looking to do the same. You can definitely run behind this one and it's pretty hairy and, you know, not a bad idea just to play it smart. Weiss for a bird. That just didn't have enough gusto on it. Yeah, there's a branch obstructing the amount of height that she wanted to put on the putt from that range. So just decided not to mess with it and have to deal with a long par putt. Wow. Super impressive to straddle out and take the legs out of the equation. Just clean swing with the arm. 
I'm just so impressed with Ella Hansen. Her game is, I've been really enjoying watching it. If you're not taking notice of Ella Hansen and watching some of the stuff she's doing, trying to imitate her, then what are you doing, guys? She's got some clean game and she she plays all the all the shots. Very skilled. No birdies here on the eighth. Let's see how we play hole nine. One of my favorites for the FPO. Why disc golf? It's the people. It's fun. It's the lucky shots. It's the feeling. So come out. Grab a disc or two and let it fly with Lone Star Disc. Shout out to Lone Star Discs putting on their first Elite Series event. They've been making a splash in the game and here's hole nine, par three at 315 feet. This little tree right here on the right, I'm sorry, I shouldn't call you little, you're fully grown, is a mandatory, keeping you off to the left here. If you play it just right of these two V trees and slide up to the right side of the circle since it's a lot more open than the left, but honestly, anything with the look here, you're gonna be pretty happy. Ella Hansen up first. MD3 off the tee, and she'll have about a 35 footer at it. Yeah, the roots of those trees kind of slowed her up a little bit, maybe took a couple feet of slide off, but she's been putting strong, so look for her to give this one a good run on the chains. Weiss up there putting for birdie as well. Katrina using a rift. Ooh, I like yes. that shot shape. That's the one. Money. Also, that big tree behind the basket can really make you have to straddle out. And uh, there's some spots you almost can't make it from. So I think it's good to throw the disc that you know you can just get there with on a great shot, not one that you have to feather down on necessarily. Ooh, Vanessa with the heat taking the CTP. Using that tree as a backstop. Mm. We knew Ella was going to be on those chains the way she's been putting today. But she made the same face I did. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Weiss for birdie. Let's go, Jessica Weiss. Puts it up, drops it down in the right side. Great birdie. This one played just under par today at 0 .04 under. Definitely a, a good hole. I think it's a good score separator. Most people are going to have a putt if they throw a good drive, but not a lot of danger here, though. Allen with the birdie, and now Van Dyken with almost a drop in. Making sure to do her routine. Don't take any strokes for granted. Nope. Very important as these fields, both FPO and MPO, are growing in talent and consistency and uh every stroke can be worth hundreds of dollars now yes Sometimes more. at these elite series the top 10 women are getting almost a thousand dollars a piece so the times have really changed you can't be lazy and you know just throw shots for the heck of it you have to focus on every single one let's check out this leaderboard Paige pierce in first missy and Kristen tied for second katrina in fourth and jess in fifth Check out Sai Ananda. She snuck up into the top 10. And Ella Hansen still holding on to a top 10 spot as well. If you'd like to check out one of my glow discs, you can get an it on the Innova website. And as I mentioned earlier, I have a YouTube, Holly Finley. Check it out. I got a lot of pro tips on there and a couple of practice rounds you might enjoy watching. And if you like straight fairway drivers that go for days, look forward to my Orbit Rivers coming out hopefully about a month from now. Appreciate you guys tuning in to this round three front nine coverage. If you haven't checked out the days one and two, please go do that. See you on the back nine.